world of terrorists and madmen, when every bad thing that happens on every corner of the earth is in your living room by the end of the day, a world where your nearest neighbor is potentially a foreign enemy, rights begin to look like a vulnerability. Right now, if you test positive to coronavirus, health officials will sit down with you and ask you to trace back where you were and who you've been with. And it's really hard to try and remember the 90 year old lady in the queue behind you at a shopping center uh, or a family that was close by you uh, for whatever purpose. COVID Trace as an app digitizes that and allows the tracing aspect to be sped up. Surveillance technologies have outpaced democratic control. A generation ago, surveillance was extremely expensive. There was a natural limitation imposed upon it. That is, the government had to spend huge, extraordinary sums to track lone, isolated individuals. To know a particular person's location might involve uh, many teams of officers, both in buildings and out on the streets, uh, working in shifts. But today that dynamic is reversed. One guy sitting in front of a monitor can track with precision an unimaginably large number of people. For the first time in human history, it's both technologically and financially feasible for governments to track and store nearly complete records of our private lives. The intent being, and what we really want, is for as many Australians as possible, well over 40%, to download the app. It is entirely voluntary. We are witnessing the construction of a world in which the most common political value is fear. An announcement from the WA Police Force. I would like to remind everyone in the surrounding area to ensure they are social distancing. Social distancing is critical to help limit the risk of COVID-19 spreading Attention, citizen. In order to prevent the spread of COVID-19, your local government encourages you to download the virus tracking app specific to your region. By rescinding your rights to privacy, you are saving lives. Remember, all non-essential travel and gatherings are banned. We thank you for your compliance. Have a safe day. So if you didn't get that, that was a joke. <laughs> She's hilarious. <laughs> but a joke that was also based in truth. Last week, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced the launch of a government-based app to track the spread of coronavirus in Australia. Government Services Minister Stuart Robert assured the public on Friday that the app does not engage in tracking or possess geolocation technology. There's no geolocation, there's no surveillance, there's no tracking. So all Australians can have absolute assurance from the privacy right the way to the security, right the way to the individual elements, the bits and bytes of the code, that the app is simply a health app for individuals voluntarily used to help us trace those who may have been close to someone who's been infected by the virus. But judging by this government's ties to the CCP, I and many others are questioning those assurances. The app currently remains voluntary after the PM's original warning that it could become mandatory drew, quote, howls of protests from Labor and others. Look at this from SBS. Drew howls of protests. Typical elitist garbage. SBS has had a problem with freedom of opinion for a while now, and that's because it's propped up by people like Margaret here, who will probably want to speak to my manager at the end of this video. These are the same people calling for total and indefinite lockdown. The same people calling Crime Stoppers on you, their neighbour. The same people who vote for socialist policies. Oh, shudder! People in other countries are defying government orders, they're protesting lockdown measures, but down here in Australia, everyone's just like... This is fine. And me, I'm just over here like... Oh, I don't know what you're saying! It all sounds so crazy to me! And it's not just us. Countries all across the world are already using this type of surveillance method, and 
you could soon be joining us, USA. Given what we know about government track records with things like transparency and honesty, as well as the fact that some of Scott Morrison's own ministers don't want to download this app, I'm going to have to put this in the uh -huh. basket. I'm just not convinced. Why is this being announced now? Why do we still need well above 40% of people to download the app when we were told the curve was flattening? This isn't about health. This is about surveillance. This is about control. This is about reconstructing society. And what comes next? Civil unrest, probably. Yay! And you know what that means? Time to end this video with my socialism mix. I'm gonna have to do it. See you next time, guys. If we wish to be free, if we mean to preserve inviolate those inestimable privileges for which we have been so long contended, if we mean not basely to abandon the noble struggle in which we have been so long engaged, and which we have pledged ourselves never to abandon until the glorious object of our contest shall be obtained, we must fight! I repeat it, sir. We must fight! They tell us, sir, we are weak unable to cope with so formidable an adversary. But when shall we be stronger? Will it be the next week? Or the next year? Will it be when we are totally disarmed and a British guard shall be stationed in every house? Shall we gather strength by irresolution and inaction? The battle, sir, is not to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active, the brave. Our chains are forged. Their clanking may be heard on the plains of Boston. The war is inevitable, and let it come. I repeat it, sir, let it come. I know not what course others may take. But as for me, give me liberty! Or give me death!